Hey. Fuck. <laughs> What's up guys? It's Freddie and Robbie from Lewis the Child. Today we're making a beat with whatever's in this crate. Get it for your mama, shawty, shake some. 1 a.m. and the whole team bound. 1992, I came out the womb winning. 1999, I was black on both sides. Let's see. All right, we got a <laughs> little this is badminton. We can definitely like, we can get some. Break that open. Got some. Ooh, those are gonna be easy. <laughs> some pistachios. Definitely make a little shaker out of that. Got some rocks. Hey. We could definitely use the rocks in this. Oh yeah. What it could be a snare. Ooh, let's go. Let's Should do we, it. Let's get into this. Let's what get first? Into it. Um, try to make it like. Actually, no. Sounds like you broke your neck. Let's see what else we can do. Let's try scraping it. Um, put your head near the microphone. <laughs> it kind of sounded like it could have been a like a kick. <laughs> One more. <laughs> yeah, I think we might have it. Oh, we're here at Studio City Sound. We definitely have a lot of things to mess with. All right, let's find a cool sound. Here, do you want to sample that haha -ha in the OP1? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Let's quantize. What Freddie did with, there with this little shaker thing is he quantized it, which is basically just makes everything on time. It's a feature in Ableton where you can kind of pinch it closer together, stretch it further apart. Let's get one more uh, percussion sound. That's cool. Little percussion clap. Tight, that's tight. Let's give it some like bounce. Try to turn this into a heavier sub. You fuck with that. Let's mess with some synths on top of this part. What? Synth, different synth preset. Different synth. He says he wants a new synth. We usually agree, and if someone doesn't agree, then we try to fix it to the point where we both agree. I don't really disagree a lot, and if we do, it's like, oh, I don't really like that. <sighs> Darn, like. Okay. You have a second pair of ears to tell you like, oh, that sounds cool, or no, that sounds whack. I like the how up an octave. We've always kind of worked this way. Um, and I kind of taught him a bit about production and he taught me a bit about DJing. And every time we work together, our uh, process changes a little bit and just like always trying to get new things get new toys so we ran this synth through this plugin called decapitator that's like a distortion plugin and it's got this cool feature called punish where it just like fucking pushes the hell out of it give me a different bass sound keep messing around all right let's see if we can use more of the sounds this is still the same, like, Freddy saying, haha, thing. We just, like, threw it through this little CWO effect on the OP1. Kind of looks like a cow. And then we need to add some chords to rise that build up. Made a little riser ish type thing by messing with the little frequency knob on here. See what we got. I just went and reversed the, the audio that we recorded. See if there's any cool rhythms in there or something. Oh, that's me going <laughs> and Robbie with the coat hangers. And let's EQ it, take out the, some of the bass. Let's use this little thing as a snare layer. That's the little coat hanger. Yeah, coat hanger. Let's see what other sounds we can throw in again. I don't think we've used the rocks yet, have we? That's right. Took this one one bar and reversed it on the second bar. 
Yeah, I love that. It sounds like one continuous mm -hmm. sound that stays. Let's take that. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> funny sounding. And then we can quantize it. The way so I like write chords sometimes is pretty much the same thing as composing for like an orchestra or composing for instrumentalists, but I'm kind of composing for synths. If you think that it's just pressing a button, then that's the same thing as saying a composer is just using a pencil. It's like the composer's not doing anything, they're just writing notes. Like, yeah, but those notes that they're writing are very important. <laughs> Coolest thing you can do with the auto pan on Ableton, move on time with the song, and kind of instead of it going like side to side, it goes like volume automates it. Yeah, that's a drop right there. All right, let's get some more sounds. So I'm side chaining the bass to the kick again. That usually just makes the whole low end feel a lot better. And it also, sidechain is like key for making electronic music groove. Bouncing. Bouncing. Bouncing around. Let's go through and see if we need to add any sounds. So this was um, a reverse loop of, I think I was like making a kick drum sound like Robbie was like hitting the coat hangers as like little claps. The rocks hitting together is like a little clap that we added onto that. And we also have the kick, which is just hitting the microphone with the badminton racket. It's pretty crazy how much bass comes from just whacking a microphone. And then this is, let's see if we can find the There's pistachio definitely some pistachio shaker. stuff towards the beginning. Let's throw that in somewhere. It's pretty wild sounding. Metal tray. The tray definitely sounded the coolest. All right, let's see if we can add another thing to tie it all together. Keep going, new, new synth. <laughs> yeah. I think that, that was dope. That's a good. Good one. All right, should we play it? Let's play it. You wanna play it? Yeah, play it. Should we play it? Do you wanna play it? Should we play it? I think rap music is bigger than it's ever been. I think electronic music is bigger than it's ever been. On our end, we're trying to mix hip hop and electronic music. There's a lot of specifics and there's a lot of automation. At, when you have those moments where like something just clicks, it's like so cool that keep, keep doing whatever that is. Creates my favorite word. It always has been. It's, it goes as deep as you want to take it. What up, squad? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram by clicking the links below. Until next time, thanks for watching all Deaf Music.